Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I will show you how we can make a tornado VFX effects using our Unity particle system. So let's get started. Start by creating a new particle system and rename it to tornado underscore particle system. After that, set max particle size to 3. Now for this effect we will need a black texture just like some smoke. So open our Photoshop, create a new file, rename it to smoke and set width to 500 and height also to 500. Paint the background to black. Now create a new layer. After that, choose the brush tool with some size like this and hardness to zero and brush like this. Set the, set the opacity to 20. Set the color to white. And now paint some smoke. Just like the eraser tool and with the opacity to 10 let's erase some areas hide the black background now save the image as a PNG now go back to unity and create a new folder and rename it to materials and inside the material folder create a new material and rename it to smoke underscore mat set its shader to legacy shader particles alpha blended after that drag and drop your texture into unity click drag and drop your texture into the smoke material after that Drag and drop your material into the particle system and now you can see your smoke material like that. Set your start lifetime to 1, start speed to random between two constants and the value will be 6 and 7. Start size will also a value of random between two constants and we will add a value of uh, 4 and 6. That looks better. In start rotation, we will add two values, 0 and 360. After that, set the emission to 15 and uh, set the shape to cone, it's already selected. Angle will be 8 and radius will be 0 0.01. After that, set the velocity of a lifetime and select a curve on X. Make a curve like this. Add a key here. Copy this one, paste it here and here. For here, we only need a straight line. After that, select color of a lifetime and set the alpha value to zero on these keyframes. Select size over lifetime 
create a key here and now it looks better after that we need rotation over lifetime set random between two constants 120 and 160 okay now that's it i think our texture looks a bit off let's edit it in photoshop as we can see inside photoshop our texture is there let's select the razor and erase the edges a little bit they are very prominent in the editor increase the opacity now decrease the opacity and randomly do this let's select the eraser and set its opacity to full and clean the edges we don't want the edges to be very much visible now select the brush and select the razor again reduce its opacity to 10 and randomly make some little adjustments save it again delete the existing texture bring in the new texture and now drag and drop it into the material and now our material looks much better we need to adjust the color a little bit let's change it to a bit of gray and that looks fantastic now duplicate your tornado particle system effect and uh, rename it to body make it a child of your tornado particle system after that set the start color to a bit of a blue something like that this looks better Now duplicate the effect again and rename it to lightning. Now duplicate this smoker material and rename it to lightning underscore map. Now we need a lightning texture. So we will create one. Go to Photoshop and create a new layer and hide this one uh, use a brush and uh, set the opacity to 50 and brush size to very small something like this we will create a texture sheet set the opacity to 100 and now paint some lightning now reduce the brush size a little bit more and paint small lightning stroke although lightning doesn't look like that in real but uh, you can draw whatever you like or you can pick one from the internet this is a very rough sketch to get you an idea of what I'm doing. After that, right click on it, select pending options. Now select outer glow, the opacity to 40. It should be one and size should be 40. That's it. Now select OK. Hide the background and save this as a PNG. Rename it to Lightning Sheet. Open your Unity Editor. Drag and drop your new lighting material. Okay, 
select alpha is transparent and hit apply so you can see it now drag and drop your lightning into your material now drag this lightning material into this after that set emission to 8 start color to a much lighter blue rotation over lifetime between 60 to 120 check texture sheet animation and we have uh, two rows and two columns in our sheet so this will be like two rows and two columns so we can see your lightning it's not looking very great we will make some minor adjustments to this go to your renderer and inside your starting first select 20 after that let's adjust the color of your lightning i think the lightning is a bit too big so that's it now create a new fact and rename it to swirl after that set its lifetime to 0 0.5 start speed to 0 and size between random between two constants which will be 8 and 10 start rotation will also be random between two constants which will be 0 and 360 emission is 8 let's select color over lifetime and enter two keys here and make these and set the values of these keys to 0 after that we need size of a lifetime and we need something like this uh, now set rotation over lifetime to minus 120 to minus 150 we need a swirl texture uh, let's go back to photoshop and create a new layer hide this one use uh, this brush increase its size now set the opacity to 50 Reduce the size and create random swirling lines. Now duplicate this effect here by pressing Alt and Shift and drag and drop here. Hide the background, save it as a PNG and rename it to Swirl. Now inside Unity Duplicate your smoke material and rename it to swirl underscore mat. Bring in your swirl texture. Set alpha is transparent and hit apply. Drag and drop your swirl texture. Drag and drop your swirl material to the swirl. After that, inside renderer, set max particle size to 3 and uh, set the billboard to horizontal billboard now restart this one and that's it change its color to a bit gray and it looks great restart this effect and you can see how this effect looks so much amazing okay so after that do we need anything else i think the lighting is still too big let's make it four and that was it that's how we make our tornado using unity particle system i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for weekly interesting videos we will see you in a new episode goodbye